Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to show you guys another cool mod today and this mod is called the Friends Overlay Mod for Minecraft 1.3.2. So what does this mod do? Well if you guys remember the old 1.2.5 mod, the Social Miner mod, you can interact with your friends, you could join their server, you could chat with them and you could have a blast because you have a cool awesome feature in order for you to see who's online. Well this mod implements the same exact idea and it does the same exact thing but there is a twist. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. In this video, I have uh, some special guests, if you guys, not sure if you guys know them, but uh, Remix Ten Tails and Burn Alex, say hello. Hi. What up? So I invited them to join me in this video because I'm going to be sending them notifications and probably, you know, uh, messages so you guys could see what this mod adds in. Once you install this mod, tell your friends to install this mod as well because this is ideal for both you and your friends to have installed. All you have to do is just press F4, that's the default key, you just press F4 and you can see who's online with the friends that you have added and who's offline. So right now, Burn Alex is online, he's in single player and let's go ahead and add in a friend. I'm going to go here to add friend in the options tab. So I'm going to add a new friend and it's going to be Remix 10 Tails. I'm not sure why I didn't have him as a friend before I started this, but I'm going to go here to add friend and he should be up here right here with like his skin you can see like his face skin right here and yes let's just wait till we get a notification that he has added me as a friend it should pop out up here in the top right and there it is now remix is online and he just added me as a friend if we press f4 it'll say that he's online and he's playing single player if burn alex was on a server it'll say server instead of single player and what you can do is in the options tab you could turn off your allow friend request so if you don't want your friends to be adding you while you're playing minecraft you could just turn this off so you won't get spammed with a lot of people trying to add you and let's see what notification I got. Hi, Mom. Why would Remix say that? Why would he say that, Remix? Because I want to say hi to my mom. Don't you love your mom? All right. You <laughs> All right. You can do that. Anyways, if you go here to notifications, you could uh, mess around with notifications. If you don't want, you know, Remix sending you messages saying, hi, Mom, you can mess with that here in the notifications. You could actually connect this mod with Twitter. So here's connect to Twitter. And so I could be tweeting and saying, yeah, I just punched a tree. Yeah, I punched a tree. And you could tweet that with your friends. And um, let's go ahead and go here to notifications. What did Burn say? Hey, hey, hey. All right, then. So now let's mess with the notifications tab. You just click on the notification tabs, and it says right here, status messages. When your friends are online, it will appear right here a notification saying that he's online. You could turn that off and on. Even when your friends send you a message, it will notify you as well, so you could turn that off and on. Even when your friends try to send you a friend request, you could just turn that on and off as well, and there you have it. It's pretty awesome, so let's check out another cool feature. You press F4, you go to your friends, and you right click, and it'll say the user's name, it'll say he's playing single player, and it used to display the world name, but in this case it doesn't. And even if they're on a server, you can't direct connect to their server, because uh, it doesn't allow you to connect to people's servers while they're in a server, so you have to manually see their IP, which does show their IP underneath server, it'll say server and their IP so you could connect to them as well and also there's a chat feature and you could remove them as a friend so let's go here to chat and send remix a uh, let's shout out to the wolves homies and knobs okay then I'm gonna say hello and he's gonna get that notification and he'll soon reply to me and it's very simple to interact with your friends send them messages you could do whatever you want with this mod and let's just wait till remix sends me a probably a message back and there he is hello bladies that's not my name that's not my name so I'm gonna go here to chat and you could just talk to your friends and and the fastest way to go back to your chat even while you're in a server all you have to do is just press F6 that is the default key and it'll just go back to your recent chat that you had with your friends so I'm gonna ask Jose or you could call him remix and tails how was your day so let's just type that right in press enter and there we have it how was your day Steven really yeah you already know how my day was you didn't tell me dude this awesome girl that I've been talking to was supposed to come over to my house, and it's been five hours already, and she hasn't come over to my house, and I'm... Okay, so let's check out the controls. Just go here to options, and you go here to controls, and you can mess around with the controls, but at the moment, it does seem that this done button is overlapping these controls, but you can see right here, F4 is to open up the options, and F6 right here will open up the last chat that you're on, and there we have it, guys. That is basically it about this mod. It's really, really awesome. You can just press F4, and let's check out what Burn just said. Uh, hey, sub to me.
Okay, way to advertise, huh? Way to advertise in this video, huh? <laughs> Why not, right? All right, yeah, you're correct. All right, so that is basically it about this mod. This mod is really awesome. You can send tweets, you can see your friends, you can see what they're doing. It's a really non-stalkerish way to be with your friends. And if you guys have a Twitter, be sure to follow SCM Owns. He has a Twitter. I follow him, but he's pretty boring. Yeah, I agree with you, Porkchop. You never... It's... Oh my god, it's just so horrible. Dude, seriously? <laughs> Alright, so that is basically it about this mod. If you guys are still interested in this mod, you want to know how to install this mod, let's go ahead and see how to install this mod. Thank you guys so much for rating this video. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are interested of Burn Alex or Remix Ten Tails, go ahead and check out their channels. Links in the description. But if you do subscribe to Remix Ten Tails, you probably have to end up waiting for weeks for him to upload a video. So... <laughs> 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 All right, right so let's go ahead and install this mod. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Dad, I hope you mess up, Steven. All right, since when do I mess up my tutorials? Dude, every time I watch your tutorials, I always get a black screen. All right, That's so let's go ahead and install this mod. The first thing I'm gonna want to do, of course, before installing this mod, is go here to Options and Force Update My Game. The reason why I'm gonna Force Update My Game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods. If it's not compatible, you will get a black screen and you won't be happy. So Options, Force Update, and log in to download a brand new Minecraft.jar in which we're gonna mod. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this updating and surprisingly remix ten tails and burn alex is still in this call so they're listening to me making this tutorial anyways you're gonna get the downloads from my description it's gonna take you to my website you're gonna get this class file this is a patch for the mod you're gonna get mod loader and you're gonna get the friends overlay mod so go ahead and get these downloads and drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better and let's go ahead and install this mod i'm gonna go here to start search program file you're gonna type in percent app data percent and for windows xp users you should see here run and you run percent data percent and it should take you up here to the roaming folder click on the roaming folder and you should see dot minecraft in the very top you can go into your dot minecraft folder you're gonna see bin resources saved and everything else go into your bin folder before you open up your minecraft dot jar site i'm trying not to mess up you have to make sure that you have your minecraft game closed so exit off your minecraft game before installing any mods so exit off your minecraft game now you're gonna right click your minecraft dot jar that's located in your bin folder open with WinRAR or any 7-zip opener. You're going to open it up and you're going to move that aside. What you're going to do is delete Meta Inf. The first thing you have to do, of course, before installing any mods is to delete Meta Inf. You have to right-click Meta Inf and delete files. Say yes and delete Meta Inf. Now Meta Inf is gone, now we can continue. Go ahead and get this class file that's located right here. You can get this class file. Do not open it up like uh, what Burn Alex did today. And you're just going to drag in this class bad. file. You're going to drag in this class file into your Minecraft.jar side. And you press press OK and you are done with the class file. That's all you need. And now you're going to open up the mod loader. So go ahead and open a mod loader and move it aside. What you have to do is just highlight all the files from mod loader, the zip, and simply drag it into your Minecraft.jar side. And you press press OK and you are done with mod loader. Go ahead and exit off mod loader and move it aside. And now you need the friends overlay mod. Go ahead and open that up and you're going to move that aside. You're going to see a ton of files. All you have to do is just highlight all the files, just highlight all of them, and simply drag them into your Minecraft.jar side. And replace, press OK, and that is basically how to install the mod. All you have to do is just highlight all the files and place them right into your Minecraft.jar side. And that's basically it. Just make sure that you have delete meta inf and you are good to go. You should be able to have this mod running. And let's go ahead and log into our Minecraft game. So now let's just log in, go to single player, go into any world you like, and just immediately press F4. Once you press F4, you should see that your friends are online. You could add your friends, you know, allow friend requests, notifications. Jose just told me something. Oh, and actually, it says that they're online. So when your friends go offline, it'll say your friends are offline. When they go online, it'll say that they're online. It's a really cool way. It's a really unique way. I really do like this mod. And that is basically it, guys. Uh, Remix, uh, Burn, you have anything to say about this mod, huh? Huh? Anything? Huh? It's pretty it's interesting. Good. It's interesting. I get to see you when you come online. Now I can follow you, Steven. You'll never be able to hide away from me. I'll always follow you. I'll always follow you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's good to know. Anyways, guys, that is basically it. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy this mod. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you guys for all your support. See you around. Start. Hey, this video was somewhat part of the way movement, a career path in video. To learn more, visit TGN.tv.